Dennis Quaid, Leah Thompson's ex-fiancé, came under fire for backing and promoting Donald Trump. The 63-year-old actress responded to a video that surfaced on X, the former Twitter, showing Quaid during the former president's campaign event at Coachella, California's Calhoun Ranch. She shared the video again the next day, along with an emoji of a perplexed face and wrote, I was engaged to him, the day after he stood up and spoke at the protest on Saturday. She also included the hashtags, hashtag vote blue to stop the stupid, and hashtag crime is actually down in her message. In the video, the 70-year-old actor, who declared in May that he would support Trump, stood up to speak and instructed the audience to select a side. Quaid asked the audience during his remarks, Are we going to be a nation of wide, open borders or law and order? Which one is it? Since it's time to choose a stance. A hashtag regarding how crime rates have dropped under the Biden and Harris administration was included in Thompson's tweet. Thompson looks back and seems confused, maybe regretting her previous engagement to Quaid. Before ending their engagement in 1987, Thompson and Quaid had been together for five years. The Back to the Future actor and Quaid were slated to wed in 1984, but their relationship ended three years later. The romance between the ex-couple began in 1982, when they got together on the Jaws 3D set. In 1986, Thompson went to the set of Some Kind of Wonderful and met Howard Deutsch, her future husband. Her friendship grew amorous with 11-year-old Deutsch when her engagement to Quaid ended in 1987. After getting married in 1989, she and the 74-year-old film director welcomed two daughters into their family, Madeline Deutsch, who is currently 33, and Zoe Deutsch, who is 29. Regarding Quaid, he wed P.J. Sauls in 1978-1983, Meg Ryan in 1991-2001, and Kimberly Quaid in 2004-2018. 2020 saw the marriage of the 31-year-old Laura Savoy to him. Her ex had declared that this year's presidential election is a vote between TikTok and the U.S. Constitution at the site of the renowned music festival. I am here to inform you that choosing a side is imperative, he declared. Will our country be one that supports TikTok or the Constitution? In addition, Quaid bemoaned the loss of a country that had cheap cash and was exporting oil to our friends and our allies. While on stage, he also discussed his recent work as the lead actor in the August 30th release of Reagan, a biographical drama in which he played Ronald Reagan, the 40th president of the United States. Although Trump is his favorite president of the 21st century, he told the gathering that Reagan was his favorite president of the 20th. Not only is California known to lean blue, but it also happens to be the home state of Vice President Kamala Harris. Prior to this, in early September, Quaid supported the Republican candidate while on the Reagan press tour. He said back in May that Trump's policy record and the weaponization of the justice system caused him to finally alter his mind and vote for him. I believe I will support him in the upcoming election, Quaid said to Piers Morgan of Piers Morgan and Censored Show host. It just seems reasonable. Until what I saw is more than politics, I see a weaponization of our justice system and a challenge to our constitution, he said. I was ready not to vote for Trump. Using her sister's identity, he claimed that his cleaner Josie had been here illegally for more than 10 years. For the many years that Josie worked for him and his family, he claimed she worked for us and lived in fear of being deported. Quaid stated that only after Trump was elected did he offer to sponsor her and assist her in obtaining U.S. citizenship. The fairy tale called Harris and Biden now just doesn't work, Quaid declared during his speech. He went on, for years ago, peace in the world was not just some kind of fairy tale. We have been striving for peace in the Middle East since the biblical days of Ishmael and Isaac, said Trump, who was literally on the brink of completing the Abraham Accords, which would have recognized Israel by Saudi Arabia and other Middle Eastern countries. Next, in the week preceding November 5th, Trump will have a campaign event at Madison Square Garden in New York City, as he nears the end of his campaign.